<laughs> They're here. Look at these. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm almost speechless. There's, I, who knew there was a little hole in slugs? It's only when you see them this big that you notice the, uh, the detail. But you have definitely <laughs> noticed slugs so far this summer. The washout of the rain over the last few weeks might have been bad news for us a lot as human beings, but the slugs, they're loving it. They certainly are, yeah. Numbers of slugs and snails are said to be surging as a result of the unseasonably wet weather. Uh, Jane is at an allotment in Warrington for us this morning. Jane, um, are they surging where you are? <laughs> <laughs> The slugs aren't surging just yet, but the gardeners are. They are out in force this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. How has your summer been so far, folks? Awful. Wet. Wet. <laughs> Awful. And we're here today to talk about the winners and losers of the washout that has been summer so far. Let me tell you, there are winners and we know they are slugs. That's what we're going to talk about in a while. But there are also losers. And Carol, Matt... I'm talking about you because they are fed up with one question they are repeatedly being asked, which is, where the heck is summer? Have a look at this. Sorry? No, not just yet. I'll keep looking. Yeah, awful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, all my fault, of course. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Yeah, take care. Bye. There is one question on everyone's mind this June. Where is summer? Carol always brings us sunshine, but then sometimes she lets us down, and today's one of those days. You can't win round here, can you? <laughs> Never happy. The hunt for summer is, quite frankly, exhausting for our weather team. Last June was the warmest on record. This June has been... meh. Sarah, did you happen to find summer at the Download Festival? Cracking the slates one minute and then pouring down with rain the next. A mud bath, total mud bath. It was like thick chocolate custard. <laughs> You couldn't lift your feet up. It was like suction cups. I lost one pair of boots and the others just about survived. And I believe you've renamed the Download Festival to... As Drownload. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd go again, but I'd stay in a hotel. Every morning I'm on my first job of the day to see if I can find summer. Are you going to be dancing to your forecast? You might be dancing to avoid the puddles. We continue to search for signs of summer in the forecast. Forecasters warn we're not done with the downpours just yet. But remember, please don't shoot the messengers. Oh no, Maureen. It's not my fault, but everybody's going to blame me again. Unless... Don't even think about it. Oh, maybe I'll just go into hiding instead. <laughs> so it's bad news for the weather presenters because they're having to work hard, aren't they, to deliver on what we all want, which is a nice summer. But look at these guys. These are the winners this year. This June, they are loving it. Sarah Hawkes from Bug Life. Hello. You very kindly <laughs> brought some friends with you today. I have, and these, these first ones I'm going to show you, these are the pest slugs, really. These are the ones that people have most trouble with. They'll eat everything, soft, new vegetation, and so your new plants that are coming out of the ground. But there are things that we can do, and there are also lots of different types of slug. So many slugs, in fact, possibly even most slugs, really don't affect your garden at all. But these, you love these ones do. a lovely slog, don't you? <laughs> you you are anti-pest control. I am anti-pest control, um, except that I am definitely in favour of deterrence because I have a garden too. And so in my garden, I really don't like all my vegetables being eaten before I get to them. OK, so the you have some props with you I today. Do. Yes. Some ideas of how we can humanely yes. take back control. Exactly. Go on, so let's have a look. This is, this is what I brought with me. Yes. Um, 
there's a pile of sheep's wool here and I live in a valley where there's a lot of sheep farmers and I've got a slug sitting on my finger. Bit <laughs> <laughs> um, for, <laughs> for freedom. And wool is one of those things that has um, a really good effect if you put it round the plants and the, the slugs are deterred from going towards that plant because they don't like the feel of climbing across the wall. It's the texture, in the, the same texture. way that eggshells will work, in, in the, the same way, way that exactly. newspaper will work, is that right? I'm not sure about newspaper, but, you know. All right, then. <laughs> and copper, um, you know, it has a sort of electric yes. charge to it. But your view is, if you leave the ecology to itself, yeah. what happens? If you leave it to itself, then the... The soil structure remains healthy. It's got lots of places for everything to live. You're not digging it up and destroying the, the homes of all the animals in there. And the animals that live in there are very often predators. So you have biodiversity, which is what it says. It's everything all in, and they control each other. They control so each that's other. that's okay. what we're aiming for. Thank you so much for that, that lesson. Come and meet Tom. Tom listen. You've just taken control of this blooming allotment and I'm looking around. There's a lot of work to do here, isn't there? There is, but I'll, uh, I'll get there and uh, oh, we will get there. The, the, obviously, the people I'm doing it with, uh, there's a lot to do. Uh, keep finding loads of stuff. Yeah, I have found slugs everywhere, but we'll just keep, uh, keep going Plowing with the flow. Ploughing on. Ploughing on, yes. Plowing. How has summer been so far for you? Rubbish. It's raining now, um, as you can see. <laughs> Every time I come here to do work, it rains. That's all we can do. Listen, onwards and upwards, yeah? Yes, yeah? Onwards and upwards. We'll have more tips for you later. It might have been a washout for many, not for everybody, but I think things are going to get a little bit better. Fingers crossed. Back to you. Oh, Jane, you're always a glass half full person, aren't you? Well done. Well done. Is it better for <laughs> us or better for the slugs, though? That's the question. Well. You've already sent in loads of uh, slug hacks this morning. Heather in Wolverhampton's message. Morning, Heather. She said that once, years ago, a carrot fell out of a rabbit cage in the garden. And she was amazed to see that the slugs surrounded the bit of carrot. They were attracted to that and left her plants alone. Oh, there you go. So carrot it is, and she says she's now lucky to have hedgehogs in the garden. They take care of the slugs. So either way, Heather's happy. So if you haven't got any fleece, a bit of carrot. Yeah, exactly. OK, good. Any All other good tips? tips? Keep them coming. Keep them coming. And photos. Anything. Keep them coming in. Do we uh, want slug photos? Slugs and snails. They're booming because of the unseasonably wet weather. So Jane has gone out to an allotment in Warrington for us this morning to find out what we can all do to protect our fruit and veg and flowers. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Come and meet Oh, slimy friends, this is what we're talking about this morning. Or enemies. Or enemies, slugs, because it's been a fantastic June for these guys. There are winners and losers when it comes to wet weather. These are definitely the winners. The losers, BBC weather presenters, thoughts and prayers go out to Carol and Matt, who are continuously searching for summer. <laughs> It's tough being a weather presenter when the weather's been this bad, but it's not tough being a slug. Janet, how has June been? Rubbish. Rubbish. Take us on a march around your allotment and oh, tell us the damage my, they're doing. My first casualty is a squash there that's been chewed and there's only a little bit of it remaining. And beans have been an absolute disaster. Annihilated. Annihilated, yes. All round here, they've been chewed right at the beginning. And I've got one bean that's trying its very best. This is the trooper trying to survive. That's right. OK. And then I have another squash here that's been eaten. Fortunately, these courgettes have survived. I think it may be because I've put straw down and that's, uh -huh. that's put the, the blighters off. And then these beans, well, they're ex-beans, really, uh, and there were peas there as well, and they've completely gone. Let's talk solutions, shall we? Let's talk solutions. Let me introduce Helen. Good morning. You've got a secret weapon, you believe? We do have a secret weapon, and people might know this. We call them our... 
sacrificial marigolds <laughs> that we plant around our beans and peas, which are very vulnerable. And this summer they are doing their best to work. They're carrying a lot of, they're doing a lot of heavy lifting. They're those, doing those much marigolds. heavy lifting, yes. <laughs> what else works? Come back in, Janet. What else works? Um, wool, sheep's wool. Yeah. A little bit. Um, and um, copper wire, uh -huh. copper um, mesh. Ca coffee grinds. Coffee, coffee grounds. grounds. Eggshells. Yeah. yeah. Menus you can get hold grit. of. Grit. Grit. Yeah. Um, other things that help, like watering in the morning rather than the evening. Okay, so then. So the damp soil doesn't... Um, attract. Yeah, and attract. Attract them. Work. Listen, let me bring in... Let me bring in quickly in the last 20 <laughs> seconds. Right. From Bug Life. Sarah, you want to make a appeal to people at home not to use chemicals because because what you need is the biodiversity so that you've got a whole group of helpers with you all the predators can stay alive if you put on poison then you're quite likely to get the predators affected as well and they won't be there to help you and then when the eggs hatch the slug eggs you've they'll got nothing back. they'll just come they'll back. just come back thank you so much for your time thank you for handling the slugs she freaked out earlier <laughs> good luck with your battle wherever you are waking up today. Back to you guys. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jane. It's, uh, yeah, we've had lots of uh, emails coming in. Thank you so much for all that. We'll bring you all of your um, slugs and snails comments and how you, how you stop them eating your squashes a little bit later in the programme. Yeah, Ken is saying mussel shells, stop the slugs. And Sarah says rolled oats. Slugs love them, distracts them. <laughs>